Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am here with Abby and Gabby, my twin girls, and we're going to get them dressed for Easter. Let's take your little socksies off. Guys, I shop way too much. <laughs> The reason I say that, <laughs> it's a good thing that I have twins. <laughs> because <clears throat> I've done some shopping and <laughs> I see things I like and I have been guilty of buying the same thing that I've bought before. This has happened twice lately. So happened one of the items was uh it was a a little girl's outfit, but it was three months. And I only have one baby girl that can wear three months. Um, because the three month is a little bit bigger than the zero to three month. So my new Saskia baby that come in, she's the only one that can wear three months. I ended up with two outfits just like both of them three month. So I only have one baby that size. If I had two, it wouldn't be no big deal. I would just dress them up, you know, just have a twin day, not that they, you know, not them being twins, but you know how you and your friend when you're young, maybe dressed in the same dress just for the fun of it. So I could have done that, but since I only have one little girl that size, there was no need for two outfits just alike. So, then I got to looking at one of my other outfits I had purchased. And I said, you know, I think I have that very same outfit hanging in the closet. This is what I had hanging in the closet. I just now took it off the hanger. It is a, a baby cat and jack. It's a newborn. I just, this was hanging in the closet. This is the one I just recently, just this week, come in the mail that I purchased from some, an individual because I liked it. And this one is not that old uh, because I forgot I had it. So if I've let one of my babies wear it, it's only been like one time because I forgot I had it. And when I seen it, I said, oh no. What am I going to do with two outfits just alike? Then I said, duh, you have twin girls. And that's the size they wear. So they got a new outfit for Easter. <laughs> so let's move Abby over a little bit. <clears throat> Get right there, girl, so we can change your sissy. So we can change your sissy. Actually, little Gabby... It's kind of like right in between preemie and newborn. A preemie is sometimes, some of them fits perfect, but sometimes it's a little tight. It's according to what brand they are and all that. But then the newborn is just a tad uh, too loose on her. I mean, not loose enough she can't wear it. It's just like this one. It's a newborn. Um. Uh, but then Abby is the perfect newborn. So Gabby was the smaller of the twins. You know how you have, when you have uh, twins, one is always smaller than the other. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And so that's the way uh, Gabby is. She's the smallest of the twins. And no, guys, they are not <laughs> identical. They are not uh, the same kit. I actually had uh, the artist that made her. We went on Bountiful Baby and tried to pick out a baby that would look as close to Gabby, I mean to Abby as possible. Uh, Gabby is the jewel kit. Um, Abby is the, I wanna say she's the Gabri Gabrielle kit or Gabriel kit. 
I can't remember for sure. I never can remember what kit Abby is. But Gabby is the jewel kit. But um, I had purchased Abby first. And uh, so then later, from the same artist, I asked her, did uh, that kit come with the sleeping version? You know, sometimes they'll make the kits, uh, they'll have one awake and one asleep of the same baby. And uh, so the artist told me no, that they didn't have the sleeping version. And so I asked her, I said, could you help me look through the um, website and see if we could find a baby that would be as close to um, Abby as possible to, to be the twin, that we could have twins, that I could have twins. And uh, so we did. We both went on the website and uh, looked. And so the jewel kit was the closest to Abby. See how big this is, especially with it being sleeveless. It's just a tad bit big for that baby. But Mama will fit tuck it in the back like that. There we go. Okay, so that's how I ended up with um, twins. So I call them my fraternal twins. They're not identical. They're my fraternal twins. And so, Gabby is a little bit smaller than Abby. But I think they're cute twins. Especially when you dress them up alike. They're just so cute. Of course, I always dress them alike. I do my best to. Um, I've got several outfits that I can dress them in. So, they'll be... I don't get them. This is the first outfit they have that is exactly, I'm thinking. Now, no, they may have some onesies that I've purchased that are exact, the same. Uh, but I usually, their dresses, I usually get them uh, where they match, but yet they can be individual dresses if I was to want to change them to uh, be individual babies and not twins. But so, I mean, I did for a little while. I thought, uh, let me just make them their own person and not have them as twins. But it wasn't long. I put them back as twins. I like them as twins. I like having twin girls. And then I have a set of the girl-boy twins, which is the uh, Paradise Galleries. Uh, they're not twins. They didn't come as twins. I just made them twins. It's uh, Lucky Duck and... Uh, wonderfully made. Lucky Duck is the girl. Wonderfully made is the boy. And they are my uh, Madison and Mason twins. <laughs> it's a little hard to find clothes for them. Uh, the lady that I do a lot of purchasing. No, I started to say. I was thinking it was them. But no, it's my big boy from Paradise Galleries that I've just purchased. That I'm having her to make me a... Uh, a box opening for him because he didn't have any clothes. I did pick him up a couple outfits the other day when I went to Walmart. Um, so he would have a changing, but that's about all the clothes. I had, And I had found one outfit that I had in my um, little boy's clothing stash uh, that I didn't realize I had. And uh, so he can wear that. So now he has three outfits Plus what, you know, the outfit he came from, in from Paradise Galleries. So, um, oh, and I also, I just remembered, I also purchased um, on uh, Macari, I think it was. I purchased a bundle of um, three-month boy clothes. I just got in yesterday or day before, whenever it was. So, yeah, I, I have several clothes, but anyway, I'm having her to do me a box opening. And when she gets that one done for a big boy, um, which is my Ken, I named him Ken, Kendrick Dexter. Um, but 
what am I trying to say? <laughs> oh, when she gets that box opening done, that box, however you want to say it, uh, I call it a box opening, but it's, <sighs> I don't know what you would really call it. You don't call it a box opening. She's not opening it. She's closing it. <laughs> She's closing it. <laughs> but anyway, um, when she gets that one done and I get that paid for, I may see if she can do me a uh, boy-girl twin box so I can have it for my boy-girl twins. So, anyway, but I'm in line. I don't know when it's going to be that she will get to it. Um, she has like 200 and something members on her Facebook group that buys from her. And so she's constantly having to shop. <laughs> and we all just, we love the idea of being able to just purchase online and not having to go out. So we keep her pretty busy. And there's several of us that has ordered a box and um, so I'm in line so I don't know just when she'll have it ready she's gonna let me know when she has it ready and then she will send me the invoice and all I told her the way she does it is she has you to tell her uh, the value you know how much you want to spend in your box for your box opening your box whatever you want to call it and um uh, it's uh, slightly used and um, new outfits that she puts in it. But she's very ticky. When you say slightly used, it's not, it's almost brand new. Look, I mean, it, they might be very little bit of wear to them, very little bit. And if there's any spots or anything, she definitely lets you know. But I'm sure in the box opening, um, she probably wouldn't put any items that had spots when she's selling them on just individually on her on her in her group if there's a little spot or something on it she will reveal it to you so you'll know and the price you know is is good for that you know she don't put a bad price she's very good with her prices so um i'm excited about that but yeah, um, when she gets that done and I get that paid for, I'm probably going to see if she can do me a boy-girl twin box. Okay. So there's my babies in their little Easter dresses. And like I said, <laughs> um, Gabby really could use a preemie, especially in this particular one. The way it's made, the preemie would fit her better. But um, I always just put newborn on her. And then um, Abby's fits her well. But they are all dressed up for Easter. They're in their pretty pinky peach outfits. Okay, Abby, scoot over here and let's put Gabby by you. So, Abby and Gabby is Gabrielle and Abigail. Gabrielle and Abigail. And I call them my Abby and Gabby. Yeah. But there they are in their beautiful little peach dresses. And I put white headbands and white socks on them. And then they have the white t-shirts. So, there they are. All dressed up for Easter. Yeah, my pretty baby girls. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm not going in order right now, guys. Like, baby of the day. I'm not doing baby of the day right now. Uh, I'm kind of just uh, going through my dolls, like the ones for the clothes. In other words... I'm doing the clothes of the day, outfit of the day, I guess I should say. That is basically what I'm doing, outfit of the day right now instead of baby of the day. Because I'm I'm picking the dolls, you know, like for the outfits that would go with them. Like their size or 
whether they're twins, you know, or whatever. So whatever outfit I have, then I get the doll that go, you know, that fits that outfit. So right now, I guess I'm gonna call this uh, outfit of the day. So, outfit of the day with Gabby and Abby. Okay. And I think they're just beautiful. I'm just gonna leave them sitting here with their pretty little frilly dresses so I can just see them because they just make me happy. They just make me happy. Mama's not gonna go put them up in the room yet. Mama's gonna leave them here so her can see them a while. Yeah, because they make Mama happy. Yes, they do. Let's tuck that little dress under so it won't look so big on you. There we go. There we go. Now then. Now then. That's Mama's pretty babies. Yes, it is. Guys, I just love my dolls. They just make me so happy. Just changing them and seeing them. And, you know, just walking by and seeing them sit, laying here on the boppy. Just makes me smile. Makes me happy. Makes me happy. All right, guys. I am going to get off of here so I can get this video uploaded. It's a beautiful day out today, so maybe it, you know, it's not cloudy and all that, so maybe it won't take so long to get it uploaded. I hope not. All right, there's my girls, Gabby and Abby, and their beautiful dresses, yeah. All right, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will talk with you all later. Bye.